Few Congolese refugees ever make the long journey from a camp in Rwanda to a city like Tucson. The same wit and resilience needed to survive first the protracted conflict in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, displacement, and an average two decades in a refugee camp will be needed to build a life in the United States. Upon arrival, resettlement agencies work with refugees to teach English and basic skills necessary for entry-level jobs. Skills like math and um, knowing the days of the week, and knowing a schedule, apply to working and, and keeping a job. I'm going to add, so number, letter A. Seven. Seven. Employment is, is vitally important. It's one of the most important um, aspects of refugee resettlement. Everything hinges on making money and being self-sufficient. Keeping a job, being able to pay one's rent, pay utilities, pay for school, pay for their children, being self-sufficient and independent. 74,000 Congolese refugees, more than half younger than 18, live in five camps in Rwanda. Many have not received education beyond primary school. In March, during a pilgrimage organized by the Domestic and Foreign Missionary Society's Resettlement Service, Episcopal Migration Ministries, pilgrims visited Gehembe Camp, where a pilot program offering English as a second language classes to refugees begins to prepare them for resettlement to the How United long States. Have you been going to school here? The refugees that attend the ESL classes in Gehembe Camp. Uh, take about 20 hours of ESL classes that are taught by other refugees and it's all to prepare them for being able to speak even just a, a little bit of English when they arrive in the United States. And we really see on the resettlement side how much that helps. For Episcopal News Service, I'm Lynette Wilson.